T20 World Cup 2007, CB Series 2008, IPL 2010, Asia Cup 2010, Champions League 2010, Cricket World Cup 2011, IPL 2011, Champions Trophy 2013, and many more such trophies and victories. So many different teams, so many different players, just one man in common, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. One of the greatest names in the history of world cricket, the ultimate outsider who came from nowhere and proved everyone wrong. People doubted him, hated him, but he shut everyone up every damn time. Dhoni did not particularly come from rich background. His father was a pump operator, and Dhoni's cricket career began with Bihar, a team which is not that important back then. Cool, calm, and composed. a man who does not speak much dhoni is not only a good cricketing mind but also has an amazing business mind he has endorsed almost every famous brand on the planet and brands still love him with an excellent work ethic dhoni became successful in whatever he chose to do in 2007 when most senior players packed out of the t20 world cup dhoni was left with a young team with raw talent if you think about it it was almost like dhoni was handed over a failing company and he turned that failing company into a profitable one There are plenty of leadership lessons one can learn from Dhoni's life and his approach to life. So here's FMF's new video on the leadership lessons you can learn from the man who remains calm and maintains his cool in triumph and disaster. Controlling our emotions. Dhoni is like a monk when it comes to controlling his emotions, but then he's human after all. He is made of the same stuff we are all made up of. He feels anger and frustration just like all of us. He feels disappointed. It's just he controls his emotions better than most people. Dhoni firmly believes that his emotions should be in his control alone. Think about it. Whenever you feel angry, frustrated or sad in life, whenever you feel completely lost, what do these emotions really do to you? Are these emotions really constructive? What are they adding to your life? Anger, disappointment, frustration, irritation, all these emotions simply end up wasting our time. Our time here is limited. Dhoni's philosophy is that we should focus on what can be done right now rather than having an emotional reaction to the problems we are facing. Our energy should be utilized in finding solutions rather than being consumed by our own emotions. Focus on the process. We can be more productive if we completely detach ourselves from the result and focus on the process. Thinking about the result puts the real pressure on us. Will my startup be successful? Will I score 100? Will I get that job? What if I fail? When Dhoni was growing up, he enjoyed the daily grind of becoming a cricketer. A leather ball cricketer has to go through a set of rituals daily while practicing. There's an entire process. You pick up your equipment from the sports room, you lay out the mat, you put up your pads, you set the wickets, and you practice. When you're done, you remove your pads, take out the wickets, fold up the mat, and put them all back. This might really seem simple to you, but this is what the process is. If you're working on a startup, you should enjoy the daily grind of becoming an entrepreneur, facing dull problems rather than having an emotional reaction to those problems. Use your energy in solving those problems. Whether or not your startup will eventually be a profit-making company should not matter to you. You should be in love with your work. If you enjoy the process, when you win, you will celebrate, and when you lose, you learn. Either way, you will be happy in life, and most of the moments in your life will be good moments. Pay attention to detail. Focus on the small things. During the bowl out session in India's match against Pakistan in the T20 World Cup, Pakistan chose their best bowlers while Dhoni chose Sehwag, Harbhajan and Robin Uttappa. They were not picked up randomly by Dhoni. Before every practice session, Team India did a bowl out session. The plan was the players hitting the wicket most number of times will be the ones used when the situation of a bowl out arises. Not only this, notice Dhoni's positioning behind the stumps in that bowl out. Compare that to Kamran Akmal's position. Dhoni was exactly behind the stumps. This helped the bowlers to hit their target accurately. His position made sure the bowlers are not distracted, while Akmal's position distracted the bowlers. This is why despite choosing their best bowlers, Pakistan was not able to win the bowl out. Make decisions in life. Dhoni's policy is the more decisions you take, the more number of times you will make a correct decision. Dhoni reaches a decision really quickly. Do not stay stuck in a place. Decide. That's the only way you move forward. The more decisions you take, 
the less stress you'll develop as an individual. Deciding things constantly is also going to make you self-confident. Have immense self-confidence. When Dhoni promoted himself in the night of the final, he wanted to make a statement. It takes guts to promote yourself and actually prove that decision right. Dhoni could have got out in the very first ball in the night of the final. He could have got out before finishing the match off. It was very much possible. He could have messed it up, but no. He had immense faith in himself. He promoted himself up the order, played well, and with that glorious six, Dhoni made sure that team India won the World Cup. He simply does not fear failure. There's no point of being tensed. If you're tensed, you'll get nervous and being nervous will affect your performance. The World Cup final was not the only time in Dhoni's life when he showed faith in himself. Like all of us, Dhoni has had many disappointments in life as well. Whether he played for India A, Southeastern Railway or Team India, he faced challenges at every step. Just like Dhoni, instead of panicking, we need to think with a calm mind and we need to have faith in ourselves. If you like this video, get our merch from the links in description. The illustrations are really cool and the quality is absolutely top notch. If you want to support this channel, make sure you buy the merch so we can make more such content ahead. Thanks a lot for watching FMF and thanks a lot for your constant love and support.